Hello! In this video I have a scrapbook collection haul to share with you. I pre-ordered two um, collections from Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies and they have just arrived with me so I thought I'd share them with you because I'm very very excited about them. Two collections are Vicky Vooten's Field Notes from American Crafts which has just come out and Prima's Flirty Fleur which I've been looking forward to for months and months and months. So I have slightly fewer items from Field Notes so I'm going to show you that one first. So we will start with the 12 by 12 paper pad because that's always the easiest to get a good idea of a collection and I haven't flipped through this yet, like I haven't had a chance to look through this so you are seeing it for the first time with me. So apologies for any noises that I make but look at this gorgeous first paper. It is so lovely with all those florals on. Oh beautiful. Oh it's double sided, hang on. Okay, didn't actually know it was double sided. That's a nice surprise, probably just because I don't pay attention to what things say on the label but yes, the other side that beautiful watercolour blue. Then this one which has got like the mug stains which looks like mug stains after you've been painting kind of thing. Beautiful green scattered dots. There's the wreath one. I've seen so many people do projects with that one already. It's so pretty. This one with the pink and the red and the orange or the splodges and stuff that's lovely. This one I'm going to turn so you can see because it has all these little cut apart little journaling card type things on. Isn't that beautiful? As much as I love a double-sided paper pad, the one thing I don't like about it is it can be a pain to share with you guys if it's one that's that way and I constantly have to twist and turn it. But anyways, another beautiful blue sponge is there. Some little uh, butterfly or moth kind of things to, well, you just know I'm going to fussy cut those guys. We've got yellow on a sort of distress background going on there. There's the rainbow stripes, <gasps> purple, so pretty. And then the feathers, those are also so lovely. It's just, mm, it's so bright and colorful and nature. And I just, oh, I love it so much. That is, might be my favorite so far. I love that so, so, so much. Then we have the orange watercolory splodges and then little sort of rectangle watercolory splodges. It's just so can't think the word I'm looking for but you know you can just see how it's been created and stuff with brush strokes and all that kind of thing so there's the lovely orange the little paint brushes and pens there beautiful green leaves there then the circles I love those b-side yellow watercolor beautiful and then look at the hearts there aren't they gorgeous then we've got the blue with like the little twiggy branchy things here and I haven't even been paying attention to the branding strips as well but those are all pretty lovely as well. And then I believe we're going to repeat so yes there is two of each design in there. Next I've got the ephemera pack. There are two um, ephemera packs in this collection. One is the journaling cards one. I don't know if I said that already but that's one of the ones I'm still waiting on to arrive but this is like the main one with the florals and stuff and I'm gonna have difficulty getting in. Oh no I'm actually doing it well for once. Check me out. So let's just quickly go through what's in here. I won't sort of talk about each one separately but just to give you an idea there are so many. I do love a collection that has a ton of ephemera just because I'm an ephemera loving person and just yes all the all these blue things they are so beautiful there's some you can like color yourself should you want to this story look at this look at the bird oh it's a little blue tit and it's so cute the other little birdies this is why I had to get this collection just because of my love for little birdies and little butterflies and all that kind of thing so yeah as I said there is tons it's 50 pieces it says but it feels like a fair few more that is beautiful that what we got be happy another butterfly mothy type creature the best you got this branches feathers love these find me where the wild things are that's awesome and then a load of florals I have to say all the little florals from here are starting to make me regret that I didn't get the stamp and die sets with this collection I didn't get them because obviously I was getting this and the Prima collection so it was like a lot of money to spend at once kind of thing but yes I think I will have to get those eventually because it has like these florals and stuff that you can stamp and could die cut but I do have the stamp and die sets from previous uh, all the good things collections and I do think one of them in particular will match this quite well Right, then we've got the puffy stickers. Look at all the tiny little dot ones. Those are super cute. Simple things, big smiles, love you, happy heart. I love the hearts that have all the little doodles inside as well. Gorgeous. I've got the thicker pack that has all the little phrases on. The other thicker pack is the one with the, the titles like in black and that's the one I'm waiting on. I may have already said this. I just, I've got short term memory problems today apparently but anyways yes lots of lovely little phrases on here there's a little bit of foiling here and there and there's like these border 
things down here. Those are awesome. I'm not going to read them all out because as you can see there is quite a few but yes I just I love all my tiny little phrases and things so this makes me very happy. I was just freaking out at a noise and it's my cat sat next to me scratching his hair. Hello Conan, can I come up and I say hello? No, he's not going to come up and say hello because he only comes up and jumps on my desk when I don't want him to. Anyways, so yes, I've shown you those stickers. Then we have the watercolour stickers pack. There's, this is our big pack here. There's two like separate ones there and then a chunk down there. So there's 173 stickers. So I'm going to, well, these two you can see, the ones at the front there. How gorgeous are they? And there's those ones here. There, let life surprise you. Good vibes only. Follow that dream. So the adventure begins kind of thing. And then this pack I will open up. So all of these stickers are ones that you can watercolour yourself. So there's a piece of acetate here that you can use for something. And then all of these gorgeous ones, again, they're printed on this really thick sort of watercolour-esque paper. So again, you can just paint them yourself and do all your own colours and whatnot. So yes, I will look forward to doing those. It's a sheet of numbers there. I don't know how well you're going to see those. But yes, just look how pretty. And just to point out as well, you can even use the back of that for something because that's also very gorgeous. And lastly, from Field Notes, I have the washi tape set. So let's just get this out. So it says six yards per tape. I'm not sure exactly what that is in uh, metric, but it says here 2.74 meters each. And then here says 5.4 four meters each so I don't know I'm gonna have to google that I don't I don't work in yards I work in meters but anyways look at these tapes got two foiled slim ones this one with the beautiful gold splodges on the back and then this blue one with the gold arrows a very skinny one here that has those lovely hearts on the different colored ones with all the little doodles and then this one which is pink with a little bit of gold foiling we've got happy love hooray laugh happy love hooray laugh there you go then this lovely watercolour one here, I hope you can see that alright, just has lovely little splodges of all the different lovely, lovely colours on. Oh, and here you are now, hello. I'll just have to do this with him here. This one is the black and white, which has the lovely pens and brushes on. Oh, I just might point out as well, if he's looking a bit scraggy, someone, not me, accidentally dropped some cooking oil on him yesterday. Not hot, obviously, but yes, it's been washed off, but he just looks a little scraggy, as I said, bless him. Then, unless Conan tries to eat it, we have this gorgeous wide one that has the flowers on as well as the circular sort of watercolour little dots as well. That might be my favourite. I think that's absolutely gorgeous there. So that is all I have from Field Notes. Apart from, as I said, those two bits I'm waiting on, there's also stencil sets and the stamp and die sets, which I don't have yet, again, because I also was ordering the Prima collection. Um, I was trying to not to order too many things, you know, um, but I'm sure I will get them eventually. And I'm pretty sure Louise has them in stock if you are interested. Right, on to Prima Marketing Flirty Flirt. Conan has now left, though I think he's still lingering around, so he might come back. And yes, this collection was announced in June, I think, and I saw the announcement and I like sent the screenshot to everyone, like, have you seen this? Like, this is so me, black and mint and white is just my my perfect colour combo. I was so excited about it. And I've had to wait till now because it took them forever to start shipping it. And anyways. I'll just show you, shall I? So yes, this is the 12 by 12 paper pad, 24 sheets, six double-sided designs and four sheets of each. And there is, I don't know if they're all foiled, but at least some of them are. So, oh my goodness. Again, as with the Vicky Bootin, I haven't looked at this at all yet. So you're seeing my initial first time reaction. So again, apologizing for any noises. Isn't that beautiful? Just the roses on the mint with the, it's a holographic foiling on this. I will admit that I would have preferred gold foiling, um, but hollow is, is, it's fine. As I said, it's fine, better than nothing, but gold would have been preferable, but still, that side is very gorgeous with the black and white distressed stripe. Obviously, four of each design. I don't even quite know what to do with that many. I don't think I've had that many before, but anyways, yes. This is this sort of brown, it's like a feather effect on the background, and then it has some scripty writing in the hollow foil. I'm just trying to move that around to see if you can see it. And the other side of that is this lovely square sort of diamond pattern with the mint dots and the little black and white floral clusters and little birdies. Next paper is this really lovely cut apart with like the little edges. I'm so desperate for the notebook edge 
border punch thing. So desperate. Seems to be impossible to find in the UK at the moment. But yes, isn't that beautiful? And even the background of that, like I might like punch out little hearts and circles and such from those. And then again, we've got the hollow foiling. Other side is black with a white and mint floral pattern. Again, with a slight distress look to it. This stunning paper, we've got the, it's kind of a greyish off white with a distress grid pattern, the florals and little birdies with the hollow foiling. This is just, both of these collections, honestly, florals, little birdies, there's the bright colours in the VB and then there's the mint in here. I'm just, these two collections are just so freaking perfect for me. And then a lovely black grid with a slight distressed effect. I don't know how well it'll be showing up though. Then this cut apart with lots of little two by twos, again with the foiling, I think it all has foiling, I don't know why I keep saying it, but yes, lots of little things to use on here. I like these little frame ones as well, you could cut out the middle of that and put like a little uh, like sentiment sticker or something in there, that would look super cute. But yeah, loads of lovely phrases on here, I won't read them all out, I love Fate Loves the Feeler, Sweeter Than Fiction, just oh, it's lovely, Confidence is the best outfit, Rocket Own It, love that. The other side of that is again that sort of it's probably just really, really white, but because it's so white, it kind of looks a little bit grey. That probably makes no sense, but anyway. The grayscale map, and that is, oh, Virginia, North Carolina, Chesapeake Bay, that area of the world. And actually, I haven't been to many places in my life, especially outside of the UK places, but I have been here, so isn't that perfect? Then the last paper again, we've got floral clusters, little birdies, and then I think it's, is it supposed to be a map in the background? It kind of looks, it's hard to make out. I think it is supposed to be a map and it's like the sort of mountain lines that are in foils, but I'm not 100% sure about that, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And then the very last, the B side of that is again, the map of the same area of the world. And then all these lovely little circles with um, lots of other patterns from the paper pad in, so the grid and the dots and all of that so isn't that just oh lovely then i got myself the six by six paper pad which i believe is all the same designs they're just not foiled are they all the same yeah it's all the same designs in there and as i said just not foiled and there is five of each design next i have the three by four journaling cards so just have a little look, flowers grow back even after they've been stepped on. I don't know, they're all that pattern on the other side, so I won't bother to show you each one of those. I think we've got three of each design. Courage doesn't always roar, sometimes courage is the little Grace is not wearing her glasses, the little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. Oh, that was a long one. Tell me what is it you plan to do with your one. You know what, I'm just not going to read them all out because then we will be here forever. But you could get the idea. Lots of lovely, really positive quotes on there. And then I like ones like this that kind of look like they've been coming in the word. Like they've been patched together, like there's a bit of tape up there kind of thing. Love those. That is really beautiful. Believe it and your heart, you can, you're halfway there. Then some non-quote ones, just ones to journal on. Look at that. That is stunning. Lovely oval one here that says note in the middle. I must have flowers always and always. You know what? I had a journaling card once that said that and I had a plan for it. And then when I finally got to do the thing, I couldn't find it. So anyway, nice to have that. Um, another quote there will be by William Arthur Ward. And again, just lovely things around the edges. There's little sort of scripty bits as well just it's so detailed that's what I love about these it's just there's so much detail going on don't be eye candy be soul food now I love a wood grain but a mint wood grain might be my new favorite thing and we've got the feathers on there it's even using the font that I love the amatic um one that I use for my um thumbnails and stuff so it's just this is just getting ridiculous about how me this collection is so oh I love it Coffee time is any time. There is like a massive variety in the quotes in this, which I really do appreciate. Like some are more fun and some are more serious and stuff. So yes, I love this. Is that the last? No, this is the last one here. One that you sort of, a proper journaling card in that you journal on it. So yes, that is the journal pack. Chipboard stickers, 57 pieces. I will get these out just in case there's um, a lot of glare from my lights on the packaging. Just, ugh, there we go. So there we go, those are the chipboard stickers, the first sort of 
page piece whatever has lots of lovely florals and butterflies and foiling as a little clock and feathers and stuff little scripty thing up there and this one has my more like little labels and sentiments and stuff so think shopping day happy mail things that you could actually well I personally wouldn't use chipboard in a planner because it's a bit too thick but you know some people might um, reading time friend time our adventure things you could use as little titles or subtitles or whatever ephemera pack which I will pull out quickly to share with you because you can't really see on that tiny little image there there is quite a few pieces here how many 38 it feels I always say that it feels look, there's little tiny pieces falling out of my hands there but yeah quite a lot of variation and choice going on look at those florals oh, they are just so beautiful and that one is so big that you can easily cut it into half or into thirds and use it in like lots of places on a layout kind of thing fearless love that that with the journaling spot on coffee dime little sort of subtitles or things you could use as tabs if you wanted to adored that's lovely that's gorgeous they're just all they're all falling out of my hand i'm not doing very well here hopefully you are getting a good sense of what is in this little ephemera pack here and there's some really teeny pieces there look at the little birdie okay then there are two sticker packs and um, they were called different things i forget what the uh, names were this one seems to be more um sentiments kind of thing so this is 55 pieces on a thing like that so on that side yeah it's a lot of sentiments and stuff check this out delicious food gourmet coffee what a feast lots of food related things there Again, appropriate for me. Um, be confident, adored forever. Just really lovely things on there. Again, with the gorgeous foiling. And then more things on here as well. I love this one that looks like a little notebook. Says, let's do this thing. Fly free. It's just so beautiful. And then this pack. Oh, that one that goes like that. Okay, let's try and open these up. Okay, so this pack. Look, could use that for something as well. So we've got lots of tiny little florals they're absolutely stunning again the foiling is just too much for me to cope with this one more sentiments and stuff our story blessed favorite enjoy the little things oh i love that black watercolor effect there that is really gorgeous tiny little butterflies tiny little banners oh dear and then wow all of the foiling there that's quite plannery there like the little check marks date task list shopping list so yes well that's picking up all of the colors wow Next, I have the washi tape tube. Now, I don't usually get washi from Prima because it's not the cheapest washi out there, but I just couldn't resist with this collection. I just, I, could, I couldn't. That's, that's all there is to it. So the first one is a very slim hollow foil washi there. Then we've got the mint green with the florals on. And it's just occurred to me the color of my nails. I promise you I didn't do them to match this collection i promise you i think i did them the day before louise told me it was on its way but yeah worked out pretty well just proof i suppose of how black and mint is my absolute favorite color combo this one this has got a little hint of foiling on i don't know how well you're gonna see but this is black with mint and white florals and as i said the tiny little hint of foiling which i've no idea if the camera is picking up and the last one is this wide one, which has that lovely black and white distressed stripe on there. Very pretty. And then three packs of Prima flowers. There is more than three to choose from from this collection, but Prima flowers are not the cheapest things out there, so I could not possibly get them all. The first pack, I'm hoping you can see well enough without me having to get them out, but the first pack is the one with the smaller flowers. So there's some mint ones, black ones, mint, mint and black, not mint and black, white and black, like dots, stripes and things, and they've all got little clusters of beads in the middle i don't know how well you're seeing that but yeah little crosses of beads in the middle and also you can see that separate down there that little frame is already cut out and you can actually use that for you know whatever you want and that's in all of the flower packs that frame so that's just an extra bonus thing the next pack i don't know if they've all got different names they all have different codes on but yes this one with the gold and the glitter just obviously could not resist this one because as i was saying earlier it was gold foiling would have been my ideal for this collection so finding these ones with the gold was yummy so yes the slightly bigger ones here mix of sizes but the gold glitter just oh gorgeous and this one i'm actually going to get out of the packaging just because it is my favorite of the few and i just want you to see it without the packaging in the way that's the frame i was telling you about that comes in the flower pack so so useful for so many things and just look at these gorgeous flowers but it's these these little guys these 
little vellum butterflies. I just want a whole pack of like a hundred of these. If you please, Prima, just send me like a hundred of these. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Seriously though, aren't they just so gorgeous? And yes, those are the other flowers as well. And they've got like a hint of the gold glitter that's in this one. Just as I said, it's a hint rather than a lot that's in that one. But yeah, I just, it's the butterflies that did it for me. But again, I would like a bajillion of them. Okay, there we go then. There is Prima Flirty Foire and Vicky Boutin Field Notes. I know I keep saying it, but I just cannot get over how me and my tastes and my favourites and things these are with these collections. Those of you who know me will know exactly what I'm talking about here. Little birds, flowers, mint, just uh, can't cope. So yes, um, look out for projects with these collections. I'm just, I'm so excited. I can't even cope. As I said, I did pre-order these items through Louise, but she does have um, a couple of bits and pieces on the website from both of these collections. So I will link that if you would like to check them out. If you are interested in pre-ordering any other scrapbook collections that you've got your eye on, then do join the Thompson's Craft Supplies Facebook group because Louise does an awful lot of pre-orders up on there. And if there's one that you don't see, you can always message her and say, would you be interested in doing a pre-order for this? And she'll, you know, put feelers out and see how many people are wanting it and stuff. So yes definitely worth joining the Facebook group. Other than that, I am pretty much finished. Time for me to go. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. As always, please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Turn to me in the comments. And yeah, okay, I'm going. I'm so happy and excited, yay. Okay, bye-bye.